So we're going to get right into uh, our definitions again, and we're going to hit it off with majority rule. So majority rule. Majority rule allocates resources in the way that majority in the way that majority of voters choose. That doesn't make sense in the way that majority that the majority of voters choose. So we have all it's pretty much like a voting system where you vote for you vote for what you want. So uh, majority rule uh, majority rule is used mi uh, mainly to make big decisions. So like voting for the next president of, or prime minister of the United States or Canada, most people would use majority rule. <laughs> it is majority rule that decides the tax rates that end up uh, that end up allocating scarce or scarce or scarce I think it's scarce no, scarce resources between private and public use. I can't pronounce very well, so you gotta just keep up with me for that. Um, yeah, it is also majority rule. It's majority rule that decides how tax dollars are allocated among such things as education and healthcare. Uh, yeah, there's something wrong up here. The sentence didn't make any sense to me. So uh, let's just say it is the majority rule that decides the tax rates and the allocation, the allocation of scarce scarce resources between private and public use. That sentence just made no sense to me, but I'm working this off some notes, but so glad I caught that. Majority rule works best when it affects a large number of people, large number of people. And self-interest in this case must be suppressed in order to use resources efficiently. So, you know how uh, how our resources are pretty much allocated between education and healthcare after they've been through um, after they've been through like parliament or whatever, and uh, that's the place where they take votes on uh, on on how much how much uh, tax dollars the the education system or the healthcare system gets, and. That's an example of the use of majority rule. Now, contests. A little bit about contests. Contests, I'm pretty sure you already know how it works. Contest allocates resources to a winner or a group of winners. A group of winners. And sporting events use this method. And an example of this is, um, I know a lot of people probably don't like him, but Tiger Woods competes with other golfers and the winner gets the biggest payoff. That's an example of a contest. Now contests do a good job when efforts of the players, the players are hard to monitor and reward directly. In any sporting event, we want to award the best team, but how do we find the best team? Well, we do it through contests. We do it through competitions, championships. That's the kind of idea here. If, let's just say, if a manager decides there would be, there would be a contest with a big prize, people would be more motivated, motivated, and the total output produced is greater than it would be without a contest and that's one way of using contest to manipulate uh, the work effort of uh, your workers or employees now the first come first serve uh, method pretty much allocates resources to those who are first in line, first in line. and examples of these are uh, Example of these are casual restaurants, restaurants that don't accept reservations. 
reservations. Uh, they operate in a first come, first serve basis. First serve basis. And uh, more examples is um, more examples is uh, let's say highway space. High, not high space. Highway space is allocated uh, this way too. The first to arrive, first, the first to arrive on the ramp gets road space. And in addition, um, let's say uh, supermarkets work that works that way too. So work, or works best when a scarce resource can serve just one user at a time in a sequence. So imagine that you, I'm sure everybody has went shopping or grocery shopping, they usually just go through one uh, one cashier and that's an example of a first come first serve basis. By serving the first arriver, arriver, the method minimizes time spent waiting for resources to become free. Now the last uh, method that I'm going to go through in today's video is sharing equally. Now, when a resource, when a resource is shared equally, everyone gets the same amount of it. And you might use this method to share a dessert in a restaurant and to make. To make, uh, to make sharing equally work, people must be in agreement about its use and implementation. And it works best for small groups who share common goals and ideals. This would, an example of this would be how if you have siblings, you and your siblings would get one, one big piece of pie from mom, but mom only made one pie. So the best way to do this, everybody wants a share of the pie. So the best way for mom to do this would be split the pie equally to um, pieces of four if there are four children. And this would be an example of sharing equally. Everyone gets the same amount of it. And um, it's just a small group and everybody has the same goal and ideals. Everybody wants the same amount and uh, everybody wants uh, to have equal opportunity to get what they want. And uh, that's where I'll leave us off, and please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.